Good morning, everyone. As Grand Marshal, it is my honor to open the 44th commencement ceremony of Bergen Community College. We request that you remain seated throughout the ceremony. The safety codes require that all aisles remain accessible during commencement. We must strictly adhere to this rule. Photographs may be taken at the conclusion of the ceremony. Sign language interpretation is provided for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. As a courtesy to our graduates, please take a moment to turn off all cell phones now. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of the national anthem with our own Professor Marie Griffo. seated, ladies and gentlemen. It is now my pleasure to call upon the president of Bergen Community College, Dr. B.K. Walter, to preside over the 44th commencement exercises ceremony. Good morning, graduates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the administration, the faculty, the staff, and especially the students, I welcome you to this ceremony in honor of the class of 2013. I want to extend greetings to the friends and families of the graduates worldwide who are able to watch today's celebration over the internet. We are also blogging live on the college's Facebook page. Distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family and friends, and members of the graduating class of 2013, welcome. Now it is my privilege to introduce Bergen County Exec Executive Kathleen Donovan, who wishes to bring greetings to the class of 2013. Good morning, everyone. And that's exactly what I want to do, is to say hello and congratulations. Graduations are such a celebration. And for so many of you, you've worked so hard for so long. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> to your families, I say congratulations as well, because nobody does this alone. You were all a part of that, and I salute you and congratulate you. 
And on behalf of the 905,000 residents of Bergen County, we say congratulations to all of you. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you, County Executive Donovan. It is now my pleasure to call the Chairman of the Board of Chosen Freeholders, David L. Gantz, to the podium to welcome the graduates of the class of 2013. Chairman Gantz. Good morning, President Walter, members of the Board of Trustees, Reverend Clergy, faculty, parents, family and friends, and of course, the class of 2013. Let me be among the first to welcome you and congratulate you on your achievement. Thank you for making me a part of your special day. I also want to congratulate your parents, your friends, spouses, children, extended family, and loved ones. Hard work brought you here today, but your relatives and friends deserve your thanks as you are granted your associate's degree. They have done tremendous work to allow you to achieve this, the latest in a series of your successes. And so I ask our audience to give a well-deserved round of applause to the graduates, and graduates, put your hands together for those people in your support system who made today possible. It is as a tribute to you that so many in our entire community are gathered here today to celebrate your success. Today marks a major milestone on the road of life. History has shown that education and the wisdom which comes with it is the key to building a far greater society, a society that everybody here deserves. Bergen Community College has given you the tools to succeed in academia, your workplace, and in life. I hope that you keep on learning your associate's degree is proof of your academic accomplishment, and Bergen remains a place where you continue learning for the rest of your life. Let me briefly tell you a story when I was in college and dinosaurs were walking up and down Paramus Road. In 1969, I jotted notes on index cards, which I kept to remind me of unanticipated sources of wisdom. I'll tell you about them in a moment. The first one was from author D.H. Lawrence who wrote, each man lives according to his own ideas of himself. The second is from George Santayana's expression, those who ignore history are condemned to repeat it. As you leave here today full of confidence and with the belief that you can conquer the world, do so in accordance with your own idea of yourself. You can curse the darkness or light a candle. It is within your power to follow the golden rule and to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I'll leave you today with this question. What would you do if what you are contemplating were to be fully reported in tomorrow's newspaper for all to see? I suggest that if you live according to your own idea of yourself, then you will find yourself at a fork in the road. Look to D.H. Lawrence's statement for guidance, and then, as Robert Frost, the poet, said, choose the road less traveled. I suggest to you that that makes all the difference. God bless each of you and your families, and congratulations, class of 2013. Thank you, Chairman Gantz. I would now like to introduce to you Dr. William Mullaney, the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mullaney. Good morning, graduates. You have earned the right to feel pride. Today, we celebrate your success. Graduating with a degree from Bergen Community College will open doors along the pathway that you choose to follow in building a better and more fulfilling and more productive future. You are well prepared to bring your curiosity and your ability to think, your hunger for learning, and your accumulated knowledge to the endeavors you pursue. Commencement is the recognition you have proven that you are ready to assume a bigger role as responsible citizens. Graduates, you have contributed to garnering Bergen national respect for community service and civic engagement. 
You have accomplished this through service learning and many other student-driven initiatives. Many of you were among the 652 Bergen students who participated in service learning projects during 2012. You invested nearly 10,000 hours in service learning projects. In fact, during 2012, a total of 3,000 Bergen students participated with faculty and staff in approximately 37,500 hours of community service and civic engagement, including service learning. I would like to mention just one of your endeavors. The cooperation, I'm sorry, the Corporation for National and Community Service recently named Bergen to the President's Higher Education Community Service Honor Roll. The corporation selects colleges and universities that have completed projects it deems to be meaningful, relevant, and exemplary, and which result in meaningful outcomes. I cannot imagine a more relevant or more meaningful endeavor than the Help Bergen Heal campaign to assist victims of Hurricane Sandy. A dozen student clubs and more than 100 Bergen students raised more than $1,000 in cash as well as clothing and food. You also set up a free supermarket in the gym and distributed the food and clothing to families displaced by the storms. I congratulate you. Remain passionate, pursue your education, and strive to help others. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Nadine Gonzalez de Jesus. Dr. Melaney, thank you. Good morning, graduates. Woo! You are the proof of the college's dedication to excellence. Among us today are members of the class of 2013 bound for top colleges and universities, including NYU, Columbia, Brown University, Stevens Institute of Technology, NJIT, Montclair State, Rutgers University, William Patterson, Rowan, and the College of New Jersey. There are many interesting and inspiring sto stories of success among the 2,308 candidates for graduation in the class of 2013. They are stories of perseverance and I would like to share with you a few that have inspired me. But before we move on, I would like to have the men and women who serve in the military, who actually are currently serving in the military or have served. And if you're wearing a red, white, and blue stole, please stand up. We would like to acknowledge you. Thank you for your service. And of course, we have the story of Karen Di Stefano. Karen Di Stefano, please stand up. Hers is a story of compassion and renewal. Karen left her job as an insurance auditor after a decade to become a stay-at-home mother. When she left, her children were old enough for her to return to work. Karen wanted to do something that fulfilled her compassion for people. She joined the Glen Rock Volunteer Ambulance Corps. She found the work re rewarding and began to seek a way to move beyond as a volunteer. Guided by her selflessness and desire to help the people around her, Karen Excel and is today graduating as the valedictorian of the nursing program. <laughs> then there's a story of Jason Flores. Jason, please rise whose family brought him to America so he could have an opportunity to succeed in the land of hope and dreams. Jason turned down an offer to attend one of the top prestigious schools in his home country of Peru in search of the American dream. Despite a language barrier upon his arrival, which almost prompted him to return to Peru, Jason began studying in the college's American language program. He never looked back. He mastered the language and then began to master his science and engineering courses. Along the way, he became a member of the Honor Society, Phi Theta Kappa, Vice President of the STEM Student Union, and was a 2013 New Jersey All-State Academic Team nominee. Today, 
Jason, he is graduating with a 3.9 GPA in engineering science. And then we have the story of St Stephanie Georgievska. Stephanie is one of my favorites of the class of 2013 because in many ways, hers is a story of every Bergen's personal triumph. Stephanie left her family and friends in Macedonia on the Balkan Peninsula so she could attend Bergen. She arrived at the college excited, but also alone, confused and scared. While Stephanie was relieved to find so many students from diverse backgrounds, she struggled with a language barrier, but began to make friends. By her second semester, Stephanie discovered the International Students Club, and soon after, her classmates elected her president. As she gained confidence, she accepted an invitation to join PTK, ran for, and won the Honor Society presidency. There, she helped spearhead PTK's Commit to Complete initiative. In the year that followed, she encouraged 2,186 students to sign a banner to pledge their commitment to complete their associate's degree at Bergen Community College. Like all of the graduates today, Steph Stephanie, Karen, and Jason's stories are now part of Bergen. As you accept your degrees today and move on to your next challenges in life, I ask all of you to always remember this. Wherever you go, you will remain part of our community at Bergen, and you will always take a part of Bergen Community College with you. Congratulations and thank you. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Ursula Parrish Daniels, Executive Assistant to the President. Good morning. I didn't hear you. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to add my congratulations as well to all of the graduates and their families. Thank you, Dr. Gonzalez de Jesus. At this time, I will introduce our distinguished platform guest and ask them to please stand and be recognized as their names are called. Please hold your applause until all of the guests have been introduced. David L. Gantz, Chairman of the Board of Chosen Freeholders. Joan M. Voss, Vice Chairwoman of the Bergen County Freeholders. John D. Mitchell, Bergen County Freeholder. John A. Felice, Bergen County Freeholder. Stephen Tonelli, Bergen County Freeholder. I can't see behind me, so I don't know if they're standing. Maura Di Nicola, Bergen County Freeholder. Tracy Zur, Bergen County Freeholder. President B. K. Walter. Peter N. Cardone, County Education Liaison to the Freeholder Board. Sonny Glotman. 2013 valedictorian. Lori Montenegro, Telemundo News National. Correspondent. E. Carter Carriston, Chairman, the Board of Trustees. Sid D. Wilson, Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees. James R. Napolitano, Secretary of the Board of Trustees. Philip L. Chiarco III, Member of the Board of Trustees. James Demetrakis, Member of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Joanne Mecca, Member of the Board of Trustees. Anthony Miller, 
member of the Board of Trustees. Michael Neglia, member of the Board of Trustees. Catherine Rodriguez, alumni representative to the Board of Trustees. Eugene Walsh, former Bergen County freeholder. Nadine Gonzalez de Jesus, Vice President of Student Affairs. Yun K. Kim, Vice President of Institutional Effectiveness. James R. Miller, Executive Director of Human Resources. Ronald Anthony Milan, Vice President of Administrative Services. William P. Mullaney, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Marjorie Webster, Grand Marshal. Alan Kaufman, Faculty Senate President. Professor Emerita, Jean Goldstein. Margarita Valdez, Student Government Association President. Michelle Soto, SGA Vice President. Stephanie, SGA Treasurer. James Boroznoff, SGA Chief of Staff. Joe Coppola, Executive Assistant. Bakari Lee, Chairman of the New Jersey Council of County Colleges. In addition, we have some honored guests, some of whom you have already heard from, but I do wish to recognize them and thank them for coming. Kathleen A. Donovan, Bergen County Executive. Joseph Coppola, President of the Bergen County Education Association. Michael Dressler, Bergen County Surrogate and Bergen Community College alumnus. Thomas McVeigh, member of the BCC Foundation, and Captain Kevin Brown, County Sheriff's Department. Please give all of our platform guests a round of applause. It is now my pleasure to ask Board of Trustees member Sid Wilson to come to the podium. Good morning, class of 2013. All right, it's great to see you. It looks so beautiful from up here. It gives me great, ple great pleasure and privilege to introduce Lori Montenegro, national correspondent for Noticiero Telemundo. Ms. Montenegro has been reporting from Washington, D.C. for nearly 20 years. Last March, she got the dream interview of a one-on-one -on -one interview with the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Her interview with President Obama aired on Telemundo and all the NBC networks and made headlines throughout the nation, as well as Latin America. Lloyd Montenegro joined Noticiero Telemundo in 1996. Uh, besides her responsibilities on the nightly newscast, which is seen by millions and millions of viewers, her duties include contributions to Arrojo Vivo, Un Nuevo Día, and the local Telemundo affiliates around the nation, including Telemundo 47 here in New Jersey. In 2001 and 2002, she was named one of the top 100 most influential Hispanic journalists in the nation. In 2009, she was named Agency Supervisor of the Year by the Washington Center for her work mentoring interns. And in 2010, she received the Ruben Salazar Award for Journalism Excellence for the National Council of La Raza. Lori Montenegro is a true American story. Her family came to the U.S. from Cuba, and despite many of the challenges that face immigrant families and people of color, she overcame and persevered. She is an outstanding example. Que si se puede triunfar aquí en los Estados Unidos. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big warm welcome to the national correspondent for Noticiero Telemundo, 
Lori Montenegro. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Good morning. Buenos dias. And thank you, Sid, for that very kind, very generous introduction. Fellow graduates, class of 2013, <laughs> faculty, board of trustees, elected officials, President Kate Walter, family and friends, familia y amigos. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome to this wonderful celebration. And I have to tell you that I am thrilled to be here, not only for the obvious reasons, but because it brings back great memories for me. Because you see, I am a product of a community college. Miami-Dade in Miami, Florida. So I truly know how special these institutions are and how special their professors are. You see, I began my career because there was a professor, Mr. Kern, who went the extra mile and sent some of his students off to do some interviews. And he said, you're not going to get the job, but go and get the experience. Well, I got the job. And that's how I began a blessed career in broadcasting. And I have to say, God has been very, very good to me and my family. So be assured that the last two years that you have been here at Bergen have been a unique experience. And so as I look out and see this vast sea of faces, and I have to say, you guys are a real good looking group around here. Very good looking group. I realize that for every individual here, this moment marks something different. Graduates, your success here at Bergen Community College closes a cycle for many in your family. For example, many of you have your grandparents here. For them, it's the satisfaction of knowing that the foundation that they laid down years ago has really taken hold. Para los abuelos que quizás están aquí hoy, Esto marca quizás un momento muy especial porque es la confirmación para ustedes de que el sacrificio que hicieron hace tantos años atrás para sacar sus familias adelante, esas semillas que sembraron hoy, ustedes saben que echaron raíces. Congratulations. For your parents, uncles, and your mentors, maybe it's a time to brag, it's a time to smile, it's a time to be proud. And some may even say, well, I got more gray hairs porque me sacaron las canas, but it's been worthwhile. For the young ones, and I see a lot of young children here today waiting to see their loved ones cross this grand stage. You graduates, give them the inspiration, the confidence that will drive them to take the same steps, and more importantly, to be successful, and of course, aspire to come to Bergen. So you see, what I'm trying to say is that we all are standing on someone else's shoulders, someone's hard work, someone's sacrifice, someone's bravery, someone's determination to break through a barrier or a glass ceiling. One of the most recent examples of this are these students, the dreamers, that I interview almost every day for the last three years. The young men and women who have conquered their fear, risked deportation, some have even been deported, all in the name of the opportunity to get an education, to be able to participate in their communities, give back, and in many cases, the only nation and in the only country that they have really known, the United States. So I want to take this moment, and I know the organizers are going to cringe, but I'd like to ask you graduates to please stand up. Que los graduados se pongan de pie. And give a standing ovation, not only to your loved ones out there, but to the staff, the faculties, your teachers, all of those who have worked behind and in front of the scenes for you the last two years and to make this day a special day. So thank you. Thank you. 
You can do better than that, for heaven's sakes. There's more than 700 of you here. So you can take a seat now, and I want you to look at me, and I want you to repeat after me. I am just getting started. And tell that to the person next to you. You see, I can tell you from experience, I can assure you, how does that phrase go? You have more places to go and a lot more people to see. Look at me. I'm a Cuban immigrant whose father never stepped foot in a school. My mother only got as far as the sixth grade. My father learned to read because a shopkeeper took the time to teach him to read and learn math. My father died last year. He was 95 years old. His mind was very clear. Y como un buen cubano guajiro siempre me decía, you can never learn enough. And I had aspirations and I had dreams, but never would I have imagined in a million years that I would be able to enter the White House on a daily basis, the nation's capitol building, that I would interview presidents, travel with presidents, speak with senators and congressmen, experts and ambassadors, TV personalities and singers. I certainly would have never imagined that I would be standing before all of you, celebrating with you this special day you who are hard-working Americans, who are the true spirit of this great nation, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your celebration. My community college experience laid down the foundation for me to accomplish all of this and more. However, along that road of life, there will be stormy weather. Some of it will even scare you, some of it will be ugly, and in some cases it will be unfair. But the important thing is to remember that no matter how dark it gets, the sun will rise again in your lives. And if you look real close, you'll realize that it's even brighter than it was before. So during the tough times, class of 2013, ladies and gentlemen, keep it classy. Never lower your standards. Do not, do not compromise your values and your morals. What's that phrase I keep seeing everywhere? My daughter has some bags with this little crown on top of it. What does it say? Keep calm and carry on. And that's what I say to you. Keep calm and carry on. Graduates, don't be afraid to fail, for failure is nothing more than another opportunity. Bergen has prepared you better than what you realize at this moment. Please be assured, you did not come to Bergen by coincidence or by chance. You are here for a reason. They have prepared you academically, but also they have prepared you as a person. So as you move forward in this next phase of your life, please be creative. Be engaged, be compassionate, be humble, be respectful of others. A medida que se muevan en la nueva fase de sus vidas, no importa a dónde vayan y qué están haciendo, sean creativos, sean humildes, sean respetuosos de otros. Practice more smiling than frowning. And today, celebrate because you deserve it, but also live every day of your life as it, a big celebration. Throughout your life, carry Bergen in your heart, because as you say around here, to be Bergen is to be excellent. Congratulations, class of 2013. Felicidades. Thank you, Ms. Montenegro, for your inspirational words. Can we give her another round of applause?
Gracias, senora. It is now my pleasure to introduce E. Carter Carriston, who is the chairman of the board of trustees for Bergen Community College. As E. Carter Carterston is coming forward, he will introduce our guest speaker for the day, who is our own president, Dr. B. K. Walter. Well, I have to tell you this, the speech I just looked at is Lori Montenegro's, so you'll have to bide with me for a few seconds. And by the way, congratulations. Well, I found my name now, so we're on our way. It's a pleasure to be here today to congratulate the graduates of the class of 2013. In earning your degree from Bergen, you have taken a major step forward to a very bright future. We are all proud of you. It will be my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, who also is someone I am very proud to know. We are most fortunate to have Dr. Kay Walter as Bergen County Community College's seventh president. As Dr. Walter went through the rigorous selection process, it became clear to me and the other members of the Board of Trustees that she was by far the most qualified person to lead our college. Dr. Walter is a complete educator. She has made important contributions to higher education at every stage of her career. As a professor of organic chemistry, she earned a prestigious National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development Teaching Excellence Award. She has been recognized many times for her leadership abilities. Her many awards, some of them she has received twice, include the Paul Eisner Experience in Leadership Award. Even as a student, she sought to diversify her education. Dr. Walter earned her bachelor's degree in chemistry at the University of Houston and a doctorate from Rice University, also in chemistry. And in between, she studied theology and sustained and attained a master's degree in divinity from the St. Paul School of Theology in Kansas City, Missouri. Originally from Texas, she has held crucial posts in community colleges throughout the United States, Florida, Kansas, and Indiana, before coming to us here in Bergen. She has been a chancellor, executive vice president, chief learning officer, Vice President of Academic Services and Dean of Mathematics and Sciences. Dr. Walter has applied her leadership skills and experience here at Bergen, and we are always seeing the results. Most recently, and I'm very proud of this, she spearheaded the successful initiative to obtain state bonding funding to build a medical technologies building for which the college will break ground this month on the Paramus campus. Dr. Walter is a community builder, and she has focused much energy during her first eight months by revitalizing the sense of campus community as an important element of building student success. As an aside, most people may not know this, but when the college was forced to close during the week after Hurricane Sandy, Dr. Walter spent part of each day helping out in the temporary shelter that the Red Cross and the county had established in the college gym. 
She also has brought her strong sense of inclusion to enhancing the partnership between the college and its legislative partners in both state and county government. While Dr. Walter has demonstrated her ability to work with all of the college's stakeholders, I myself am most impressed by the strong response students have to her. You can see it in their faces whenever they interact with the president. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the keynote speaker, my friend, and the college president, B.K. Walter. Thank you, Chairman Carston. My very first job was as a teacher, and I don't think I will ever get out of the mode of being a teacher. So today is going to be a history lesson for us, because I think foundations, and as Chairman Gantt said earlier, history is extremely important. Growing up, I was fortunate to spend lots and lots of time with my grandfather. He built buildings for a living. He started out with designing the facility on paper. He poured solid, lasting foundations. And then he finished the buildings. He did all the painting on the inside, all the plumbing. He laid all the brick. He poured all the floors. In those days, that's what people who built buildings did. And from watching my grandfather, I learned the importance of what goes in to building a solid foundation, not only for structures, but for our institutions and our individual lives. My grandfather would meticulous, meticulously start by making sure the soil that the foundation was going to be built on could actually support the building. And Jason, as an engineer, you know how important that is. He knew that the components of the soil were important to the stability of the foundation, and thus the stability of the building that would be built on it. The wrong kind of soil could spell disaster. And I learned from watching him that there were actually different kinds of soil. Did you know that? Not all soil is the same. Some soils were primarily made up of sand. Others had large components of clay, while still others had lots of decayed plants and animal matter. He told me that if a soil was coarse, had a mixture of sand and something he called loamy sand, that water would drain through it quickly. And coarse textured soils made really good soil conditions for building buildings. They were good for most types of foundations. Fine texture soil, on the other hand, and they had a lot of clay and other matter in them, would expand because moisture would soak into them, and then during dry periods, seep out, and the soil would crack. Have any of you seen what happens when the soil cracks under your foundation? The lack of stability for these kinds of soils caused major disasters in foundations if you did not account for them before you built buildings on them. So with the right kind of soil, a strong foundation can be poured that will withstand climate changes and normal wear and tear of daily living. And over his lifetime, I watched my grandfather build many buildings on strong foundations. These buildings have stood the test of time. And even though my grandfather 
is gone. Many of them are still serving the purpose they were designed for many years ago. Like buildings, great institutions require just the right soil for a solid foundation. They need foundations that will withstand political and social pressures. And as we know, throughout history, political and social pressures happen. One thing you know for sure is that Bergen Community College is by far one of the greatest community colleges in this nation. Its foundation is built on the right soil and the college has provided the foundation for higher education for Bergen County since its inception. Institutional foundations are built by people, people like you who have a passion to see the institution birthed and brought to life. In 1957, one such person, a visionary, who at the time was serving as the president of the PTA of Fairlawn, New Jersey. That's right, the college exists because of Fairlawn and a man named Edgar E. Moss. He had a vision to build a strong foundation for education for all of you. Mr. Moss and the county PTAs were extremely concerned that students who graduated from high school were not gonna have a college to attend. And he believed that two-year colleges with their low tuition their easy commuting distance could provide that foundation for their education. Like my grandfather, Mr. Moss began testing the soil. He tested the soil of public opinion. And public opinion was ripe. In February 1958, a countywide needs assessment committee was formed and the work began to build our great college. Later on that year, when Mr. Moss was elected as uh, a member of the Fairline Board of Education, Peter Jacobson of Paramus and Mrs. Walter Whitman of Paramus took over leadership of this group. And with the assistance of both the record, and I know I saw someone from the record here earlier, and our county freeholders, Mr. Jacobson and Mrs. Whitman began and became the engineers who tested the soil. While this was difficult work, and I think Lori said it well when she said there will be times that are difficult, they stuck to the task at hand and they carried the process forward. Even though many times there was great controversy and sometimes even little support. On October the 20th in 1965, the dreams of Mr. Moss, Mr. Jacobson, Mrs. Whitman, and countless others from the community were brought to fruition. When the Board of Chosen Freeholders passed a resolution to establish our great college. On November 3rd, 1965, the resolution officially became law. You know, the Board of Chosen Freeholders, you notice they're all here today? From the very beginning, they have been our supporters and our allies. And in fact, we are gifted today to have with us the remaining member of the original Board of Freeholders who established this college, Mr. Eugene Walsh. Mr. Walsh, please stand.
As Laurie said, we are standing on his shoulders. Once the college was established, the Board of Freeholders set out about to name the first nine members of the Board of Trustees. Remember what you've read about the history of what was happening in the 1960s? No? It was a turbulent time. There were fights all over the place. And the freeholders were being pressured by all sides to put in place so many Democrats and so many Republicans. But Mr. Walsh and the freeholder board stood firm and they nominated our first board of trustees, nine very distinguished members of the community because they knew how important their work was going to be. Once the trustees were in place, then the college needed to hire a president. They needed to find a suitable place for the college to be located. And then they needed to find staff so that they could admit the first group of students. While there was an overwhelming support for hiring Dr. Sidney Silverman as our first president, there was not the same kind of support in the community for where the college should be located. During that time, community members seemed really concerned about traffic and what the college might bring to their neighborhoods. In fact, there was significant controversy that broke out over where the college should be located. But once again, our freeholders, Mr. Walsh, stepped up to the plate and they told the community, we have an excellent group of trustees and we are going to support them with the site on Paramus Road, which is exactly where the college was built. Throughout the years, the freeholders have continued to be part of our soil, along with Mr. Moss, Mr. Jacobson, Mrs. Whitman, and the many citizens who worked hard to build a solid foundation for each of you. We are indebted to them for their vision, their dreams, their insight, and their support. The college has also been built on a solid foundation of faculty, staff, and students who've contributed not only their gifts, but their service to make Bergen Community College the learning community that it is today. At this time, I would like to recognize a few of our fa founding faculty members. Professor Fred Gollop, who served as the chair of the very first graduation committee for the class of 1970. <laughs> Professor of Business, Dorothy Gleckner. Professor of Wellness and Exercise Science, Compton Jenkins. Professor of Wellness and Exercise Science, Peter Martin. And Professor of Physical Science, Mauro Marzacco. We are indebted to this founding group of faculty and staff for their continued commitment to grow and nurture this college for you. Forty-three years ago, our first class of students sat exactly where you're sitting today. They played an important role in setting direction for the college in supporting the college after they graduated and being strong contributors to Bergen County. We are very privileged today to have members of the class of 1970 with us. And can I ask Leonard Gleason, Jackie Kosnotsky, Jane Merker Wilson, Jane Okonoski, Sal Stamila, Dean Strawn, 
Earl Tufford and Beverly Walker to be, stand and be recognized. Class of 2013. They were sitting here. They were our first class. Today we honor you as you move from being Bergen Community College students to alumni of Bergen Community College. We are thankful for your contributions and for the legacy that you are leaving for future students who will follow in your footsteps. I've been honored over the past year to get to know many of you. And I want you to know that your commitment to this college and to the community we serve is exemplary. While you've all worked hard to manage classwork, family, jobs, and a myriad of other obligations while you were students, you have also contributed your time and your service to Bergen Community College and the community at large. Let's give them a round of applause for that. I know for a fact that many of you have volunteered your time as tutors, community volunteers, You've held countless food drives. You've worked to assist your fellow students, the staff and the faculty during Hurricane Sandy. You were the first class to start a book exchange program. And I was honored a week ago to see the first scholarship awarded that came from you, the students, to help another student in need. You have indeed done many acts of kindness, and you have supported each other, you have supported the faculty and staff, and you are to be commended. You have had, over the past year, an extraordinary group of leaders leading your class. And at this time, I would like to ask Margarita, Michelle, Stephanie, Joe, James, and all of your senators to rise and let's give them a big round of applause. Today, I want to commend each of you for who you are, but I also want to commend you for who you will become. For as you leave this place, as Laurie and others have said, you take a piece of Bergen Community College with you. Whether you are headed for a four-year institution of higher education, whether you're embarking on your dream career right now, or as many of you have told me, you're gonna spend a year doing community service before you do anything else, you have made and will continue to make a difference. We are extremely proud of you and the foundation that you have put in place for all of the students who will come after you. Today, as you leave, you are going to receive two small but significant gifts from us. One is a copy of the poster that you see over on the side here. This poster has each of your names on it. It will be a reminder of you and to you of the great work you have done while you have been here. But more than that, we have now established a graduation hall 
and your class will have the first graduation class poster hanging in the new graduation hall. We want your colleagues who follow you next year to know what they have to live up to. The second gift you are going to receive is an application. It's an application for you to join our Alumni Association. We hope that you're going to take a few minutes and fill out the application and return it to the college. Why? because we need your continued energy, your intellectual capacity, your support, and the commitment you've shown while you have been here. Because of you, Bergen Community College is truly one of the greatest community colleges in the nation. And today we are pleased to honor a group of students who has definitely made a difference and who I know, I'm very certain, is going to make a continued difference in the world that we live in. Congratulations, class of 2013. And now I'm going to invite Dr. Mullaney back to the podium. Thank you, President Walter. At this time, I wish to acknowledge seven spe several special groups. First, the faculty who provide inspirational instruction, support, and direction for the students of Bergen Community College. Will the faculty please rise? college administrators and staff who also provide support and guidance for our students. Will the vice presidents, deans, directors, and staff please rise. It is my pleasure to acknowledge some of the people who provided encouragement and love as well as guidance and support. Would anyone who is the grandparent of one of the graduates please rise? <laughs> this is a real family affair. Will anyone who is an aunt, an uncle, a niece, a nephew, of one of the graduates, please rise. <laughs> Would anyone who has a brother or sister who is graduating today, please rise. Would all of the mothers and fathers whose children are graduating today please rise. Would all of the spouses and significant others of graduates please rise. couple more. Would any children whose parents are graduating today please rise. Would anyone who is a grandchild of a graduate please rise. <laughs> Please 
please give a final round of applause for all the families of the class of 2013. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to honor those students who have distinguished themselves in their studies at Bergen Community College. These students were honored individually at respective award ceremonies. I am pleased to introduce and congratulate these students and their families and friends. In announcing this recognition, it should be noted that these students had to earn a high overall outstanding grade point average, as well as to demonstrate excellence in their specific disciplines. We are proud to acknowledge their achievements. Will the recipients of Divisional, Curricular, and Special Achievement Awards please rise at this time? Come on. Mm. <laughs> it is my honor to recognize those 57 graduates who have distinguished themselves by achieving a perfect 4.0 grade point average in all of their studies. Will these students please rise? We acknowledge, too, 68 graduates who are members of Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society for Community and Junior Colleges, which recognizes superior academic achievement. Please rise, PTK. <laughs> We also acknowledge the 33 members of the Judith K. Wynn School of Honors graduating today. Please rise. Congratulations to the veterans of our armed forces who are graduating. Please rise. By the way, beginning with this commencement, our veterans will wear a tribute stole that honors their military service. Thank you for your service. Congratulations to the students who belong to the National Collegiate Foreign Language Honor Society. Please rise. I wish to congratulate the students who received the Educational Opportunity Achievement Award. Please rise. Thank you. I want to acknowledge the special achievement of this year's Student Leadership Award recipients. Please rise. I want to recognize 11 individuals who earned certificates of achievement. Please rise. I want to acknowledge the students who took the Social and Environmental Responsibility Pledge to always consider the consequences for people and the planet for any job they accept or organization for which they work. Please rise. And finally, I want to recognize and congratulate the graduating students from our New Jersey STARS program. Please rise. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to introduce the class of 2013 valedictorian, Sonny Glotman of Garfield. I get to say a few words about Sonny here. Like many Bergen students, Sonny did not start college immediately after high school. Originally from Florida, she worked as a musician and a voter registrar before deciding to go to college. 
She enrolled at Bergen at the age of 24 after spending several years, as she says, learning responsibility and accountability. With the encouragement of her faculty advisor, Sunny enrolled in the, college's honor, in, in the college's honors courses and soon found her groove at Bergen. Always an avid reader, she went beyond the requirements of her courses to read everything sh she could to increase her knowledge in the studies she pursued. She used that knowledge to help others by working in the college's tutoring center. Tutoring changed Sunny's life and she immersed herself in the campus community and made many friends. She served as a president of the Honors Association and raised funds for Big Brother Big Sister Charitable Foundations. Sunny has been accepted by Columbia University. Let's hear that. Where she plans to study political science in search of new ways to help others. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to the class of 2013 valedictorian, Sunny Glotman. Uh, wow, Dr. Mullaney, that was quite the way to rise up the audience and uh, warm them up for me. Thank you. Um, I don't know how I'm going to say this, but uh, this right here is my speech. Please observe. been bothering me. This plant has been sitting, leaned over for the course of the ceremonies. Um, Dr. Walter, you spoke about the soil. I want to speak about something slightly different. T.S. Eliot in his poem, The Wasteland, once said, what are the roots that clutch? I don't know if you know about The Wasteland, but it was written between the time of World War I and World War II. The world was spinning out of control, reeling in the aftermath of violence, prejudice, fear. Sound familiar? Again, like I said, I threw away my speech, but I don't know what to share with you. These uh, ceremonies are ripe with decorum and banal platitudes that when I wrote my speech, it just come off, didn't come off as real or authentic. It wasn't who I was. So today I'm going to share with you my story, and maybe from this story we can find some common unifying thread. I was a high school flunk out. <laughs> it's kind of weird being here and saying that, but I really was. I, I flunked out of high school. In fact, I remember this one day being 15 years old, caught cutting class, and I was sitting in my vice president's office, and he looked at me and he said, Sonny, you're a no good, ungrateful bum. And I think he was half right. I was ungrateful. It took coming to Bergen Community College to learn what it means to be grateful, because I wasn't. You guys astound me. I've been very fortunate in life. There are certain things that I've never had to decide between. I've never woken up one morning and said to myself, it's rent or tuition. I've never had to study for an exam while putting a colicky three-year-old to bed. I've never been spat on for the name of the God that I chose to worship. I've never been discriminated against for the gender of the person I chose to love. But I look around and I see people who've struggled and endured and gone through things that I can't even begin to imagine. And every day you astound me. I've had it easy, and it, it almost makes it unfair, cosmically unjust that I'm here and you're there, but we're all in this together, so there is no here or there. It's all an illusion. But let's get back to the whole, what are the roots that clutch? For me, the roots that clutched happened my second semester here, Monday, 9 a.m., half asleep, I don't think I drank any coffee yet. And I walked into Dr. Kaufman's intro to the novel class. And something happened. To be honest, something that had never happened before in my entire life. An individual who I respected and admired challenged me. 
He has this thing, Dr. Kaufman. He writes it. If you've had his class, I'm sure you've received this. You don't get a grade on your first paper. You get this little circle um, statement saying, let's talk. <laughs> really, that means you can do better. Challenge yourself, do better. And, and no one ever said that to me before. It was funny. My vice president just called me an ungrateful bum. He didn't say you could do better. In fact, he looked at me as if I was the scum of the earth. But here at Bergen, someone believed in me enough to say you can do better. And I did. As I said before, I've never struggled or suffered Everything in my life has come fairly easy to me. And I look out across this sea of faces and I know that's not the same for everybody. You've had to fight for what you've believe in, believed in. You've had to take in what wasn't given. And I admire that. And I salute you. And I know wherever you go on to, you will continue that fight. I want to thank you, class of 2013, because you shared your dreams with me. You gave me that something that I didn't possess because to be quite frank, I never believed in myself until I came to Bergen Community College. And I thank you. I, I really do, I, I can't begin to say this enough. These ceremonies can be so pomp and, and meaningless and generic, but I look out at these faces and I see, I see Laura Madera, I see Mandu, I see Matt Charles Freeberg. <laughs> I see all these people who I know who've personally inspired me, and I just want to say thank you. I'm going to keep it brief. You guys want to get out of here. Star Trek is pre premiering tonight. But like I said before, what are the roots that clutch? What will you take with you today? I hope it's the knowledge. I hope it's the strength of conviction. And I hope it's the remembrance of the value of an education because in our society, day by day, we are devaluing education. I hope that 20 years from now, even though it's wonderful that we've had this history of freeholders and shares and trustees and money being poured into this school, I hope you hold this institution accountable and say, hey guys, I hope that this new generation gets the same education that I did. I know sure as hell that I will. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sonny, for that uplifting and inspiring speech. And oh, by the way, that's been bothering me too. <laughs> but I got um, a lecture from Nestor. You all know Nestor? Before we started, that there was a reason it was sitting on its side so that you could actually see the flowers better. I wish to take this opportunity to extend my personal congratulations and best wishes to all the graduates and their families. And now, we're going to do what you've been waiting for all morning. We're going to confer your degrees. So I'd like to ask uh, Vice President uh, Mulaney and Priscilla Clemenko to come forward. <laughs> Vice President Mulaney, do you certify the candidates for the associate degrees and certificates? President Walter. The candidates whose names appear in the program have successfully met the requirements for the associate degrees and certificates. Would you now please identify the candidates for graduation? 
Candidates, please come forward to receive your degrees. Mandu Sandilan, Evan Alexandra Bruce, Who's? Sean Brady, Stephanie Garcia, Anki Bello, Charlene Hollinsworth. David Show, Scott Forsham, Aminat Bosnova, Edis Shanata, Tony Senatore, Demi Kolotho. John Pasqua, Mohammed Ignaz, Rachel Peters, Blanca Padoma, Jason Flores, congratulations, Matthew Friedberg, Michael Hannon. Jocelia Mercado, Sonny Glockman, Margarita Valdez, Michelle Soto, Stephanie Gorgia Vesca, James Barasno, congratulations, James, Laura Madera. Bria Abraham, congratulations. Kara Melenza. Como Shivaskava. Brian Hemswitz. Juan Zaminga. Inrud Park. Jansun Khan, congratulations. Evelina Kovovich, Francine Greenbaum, <laughs> Devin Lau, Christina Carter, Jardine Gail Gomez, Gerard Porcher, John McAdams. Amy Song, Craig Horseshoe, Michelle Harvey, Michelle Ng Hikagina, Ikranana Drizaj, Gladys Isagara. Lin Ting Tong Noi, Amy Shortina, Alexandra Kajaya, Corret Bias, Sonia Guerrera, Jian Bishat, 
Young Jun Lee, Soye Chan, Ormira Perez, Christina Holt, Molly Perez, Apidias, Daniela Agal, Jessica Michelle Anaila, Hunjen Park, Prashang Shapar, Sana Kali, Cecilia Alaskas, Jamie Kurtz, Jesse Kurtz, Aaron Angersall, Jeremy Wojciechowski, Aliyah Bali, Frank Fiola, Mary Gradar, Rose Little Rose, Nancy Goya, Kenan Seven, Elise Silva, Vina Mechner, Trevor Galuso, Dennis Balling, Shelley Spalding, Vincent Baganado Jr., Shannon Hoover, Aline Tullough, Mixan Tullough, Thea Remy, Andrena Hines. Teresa Ann Jones Austin, Nicole Sullivan, Stephanie Alvarez, Shoheen Chong, Kelly Fistera, Evelyn Jones, Maria Josephowski. Warren Jamerson, Harold Borwick, Roy, okay, Joshua Pexson, Patrick Verzoso, Justin Bevelaka, Naja Ochi. Nicole Chacon, Eliana Chacon, Laura Labania, Michelle Efficino, Tiana Garcia, Robert Sewell, Louis Dinwas. Diwas, Diwas, Christian Carey, Dario Altamirano, Havas Alu Ali, congratulations, Jenna Manny, Jacinia Gutierrez, Young He Lee, Christian Bernal, Veronica Dintoni, Joe Langer, Jessica Heilenberg, Jennifer Peskinowski, Noreen Dominguez, Claudio, Maureen Jackson, 
Stephanie Pavloon. Melissa Greco. Christina Macbeth. Maria Stolo. Angel J. Tom. Deanna Carpio. Luz Carrello. Pelala Astavillo. Ismana Huggins. Yvette Vasquez. Hillary Morris. Anna Seda Trinidad. Amanda Moorhead. Andre L. Pilau. Christian Muncio. Aline Moya. Andrea Lavia. Dominica Vera. Barbara Sotes. Victoria Kelman. Paola Martinez. Milagro Estevar. Sonia J. Daniels. Maria Lesoto. Lesoho. Doge Cornrack. Jasmine Brown. Adam Differ. Ellen Flanagan. Danica Waterlick. Jamie Ingram. Rebecca Cleveland. Kiara Ortiz. Robbie Sobermanian. Robert Muniz. Christine, um, Christina Pascio Giorgio. Kimberly Leonard. Tony Marie Amadanza. Johanna J. Degado. Carolina Garcia. Deb Reynos. Reynos. Vanna Kuto. Alana Pereira. Priscilla Armenia. Oscar Niedestrasse. Viviana Alvarez. Glenda Gordon. Jessica Cuervo. Karina Martin. Rissa Toro. Jorge Ivan Gomez Way. Alexis Garcia. Thank you, thank you. 
Cerebel Espelat. Elisa Mendez. Beth Ann Holly. Perhal Prasad. Cindy Cepeda. Tani Vagaro. Paula Angel. Wilhelm Guevara. Belly Kaku. Nicola Hines. Crystal Chambers. Stephanie Castellanos. Matthew Cordero. Keith Cruz Jr. Curry Carello. Nora Young. Latoya Owens. Mary Ann Quinlan. Chamen Hussau. Joan Jenkins. Jennings, I'm sorry, Joan, forgive me. Congratulations. Nessie Haida. Miranda Mutello. Nicholas Stone. Naomi Mota. Danella Modina, Medina. Anna Chihon. Martha Waller. Cindy Borello. Sophia Moingi. Magda Makar. Mary Anna Tofik. Noor Samar. Martha Davis. Ashley Ella Khan. Kathleen Bonasisa. Maria Flores. Christine Donald. Leslie Robinson. Marek Salisafek. Louis Rojas. Christopher Grud. Danella Primol. Nicole C. Waters. Arthur Abrizio. Angelique Neves. Damicia Ward. Jasmine Rivera. Goen Jong. Glenda Gonzalez. Kendra Cara. Martha Abramic. 
Samantha Merce. Anne Berlin. Berlin. Erica Diaz. Christina Rinda Carpio. Eugene Ionesco. Chris Hamperl. Sean Ingard. Christopher Andrew Fortes. Danica Sampson. Christina Uncasavernai. All right. Bradley Melanda. Gorgan Irogu. Grace Di Partolo. Zachary Kraft. Jessica Sanchez. Marissa DiGiulia. Karen Lopez. Alexandria Elenidra Teo. Morgan Dortry. Melinda Dortry, congratulations. Aletha Jane Medea. Maria Montoya. Sandria J. J. Ashenka. Jennifer Sepupela. Carla Dos Santos. Nancy Palacios. Bobbitt Samuels. Christina Cordova. Franklin Zinnen. Jennifer Contreras. Ruth Saprita. Amen Barsamian. Anna Miskoska. Lita Boxwes. Maureen Martinez. Shirley Rito Chavez. Patrick Ballard. Cody Richardson. Henry D. Pertardo. Christopher Howell. Julian McCreary. Kelly Moore. Colleen Rowley. Aaron Ogden. Stephanie Fox. Apex. Alyssa Hapernack. James Hamilton. Antonio D'Angelo. Pernoma Hernandez. Gian Lee. Lee. 
Raymond Leterio. Chris Celitano. Christian Matos. Kimberly Galino. Fernando Gonzalez Jr. Marin Grishka. Danella Thomas. Luis De La Cruz. Lauren Pasquale. Suhaini Alamante. Deandra Borello. Dominic George. Ralph Floor. Peter Robert Gonzalez. Elena Ross. Maria Solar. Natalie Michelle Sola. Malik Davis. Erica Otarola. Ellie Simone. Eric Gamaro. Cherie Ingram. Shireen Mirage. Sasha Bamberg. Sinzan Bakaz. Nkosi Nurse. Alfred Wyke. Marlene Espinal. Julio Garcia. Mari Mariano. Chandra Dorsonville. Vanessa Koleska. Sylvia Modeska. Christine Cologne. Lorraine McFarland. Angelo Carbonell. Evans by McBye. Jonathan Mark Carello. Josana Tobocha. Nicole Sabangan. Deanna Medina. Adam Ordonez. Chanel McKay. Lenica Avery. Gabriella Carrion. Lucia Brown. Tuba Lukasen. Eduardo Vallejos. Nadia Clark. Oh, 
Dan Danelle Jalisa Houston. Luis Pena. Shi Cheng. Fang Li. Alexa Romero. Kenja Harris. Courtney Junkins. Christo Samuels. Elsa Galasso. Margaret Kalinsa Tochak. Legia Harvardson. Liz Santo Domingo. Yasmin Varhez. Zaray Goburn. Richard Gonzalez. Mike Vasquez. Rosanna Palenko. Jennifer Narvaez. Irina Wolf. Anna Krotik. Christina Savo. Ahira Butt. Olivia Gonzalez. Ariel Dominguez. Sean Suarez. Thomas E. Grassley. Vanessa Gonzalez. Leslie Cantado. Brian Parra. Nico Fantara. Victoria Neves. Monica Grell. Christopher Krakowski. Cynthia E. Peregrier. Natalia Rudick. Mark Vinson. Diana McStow. Diana Miss Dana McStone. Sorry about that. Victoria Benkava. Diana Kretzavise. D as let's do it. D Dea. Actually, be scary. Almost. <laughs> I'm at Corrick. Ashton Rochester. Asha Rochester. Okay. Abdul Kaleem Sharaf. Abertaf Ben Cleef. Brenda Grettenberg. Alyssa Silverstein. Alex Delgado. Bruna De Silva. 
Andy Polino. Cynthia Barcia. Pablo Bartez. Agata Klot. Cloak. Sarah Masove. Melissa Hineo. Ingrid Ocho Ochoa Galliana. Nazara Gartin. Catherine Johanna Barrera. Helen Hahn. David R. Calderon. Ar Ar Army Bocaran. Okay. Clementina Janoska. Jalisa Montanez. Sarai Atencia. Mohammed Fadi. Congratulations. Fei Lin Lin. Maria Grazia Butita. Jillian K. Fitzgerald. Connie M. Murray Slocum. Perpum Intanam. Adela Huerta. Nicholas Mitchellmore. Akil Muri. Victoria Bularo. Karen Nishinaga. Eddie Nakashima. Carol Villavicencio. Jacqueline Amoa. Susana Usami. Kathy Reisinger. Adrian Lorick. Katarzyna Nietzschka. Erin Kim Hazen. Manushi Desai. Megan Williamson. Eilish Gallagher. Adam Benetti. James Rutler. Jenny Flynn. Ronald Schmidt. Angelina Luna. Agnieszka Igras Wozniak. Andres Arevalo. Da 
Rachita Shukwala. Rulina Barreto. Norman Shafton. Eugene Westman Edward Williams IV. John Sellis. Lisbel J. Rodriguez Suriel. Tatiana Serao. Blanca Carpio. Ana Cassandra de Jesús. Génesis Iglesias. Chuck Wong Law. María de la Rosa. Emma Rachel Aguilera. Julio C. Vázquez. Cristina Lind. Alexis Lind. Miguel Pesantes. Taralin Madalone. Han Jung Sung. Se Jung Ho. Milan Lee. Armando Celaya. Katy Camacho. Andrea Quiñones. Alejandro Butis. Stacy Ramos. Melissa Castañeda. Alexandra Marulanda. Sandy Mejia. Daniel Banks. Daniel Marzinkowski. Caroline Alexandra Willis. Samantha Uzzolino. Claudia Gonzalez. Bozena Dobroleska. Eric Mann. Timothy Gilmore. David Aguilar. Donna Bryson. Linda Gonzalez. Catherine Vunk. Kerry Kagume. Francesca Cabrera. Anthony Skanga. Brittany De La Cruz. Roshane Lewis. Diana M. Ruiz Amaya. Barbara Stachula Ziger. Alexandria Lopez. Leonardo Gabriel. Marcel Alcalá. Sharia Nasralla. Catherine Segovia. Michelle Amador. Jared Zuckerman. Eva Leconchak. Lindita Berberi. Triana Rego. Tina Milordo. Marta Isabel Ruiz. Alana Kosakoska. Jean Lindsquist. Susan Zint. Emily Rodriguez. Namrata Patel. Brianna Livermore. 
Eva Garbolski. Stacy Maisano. Namrata Shukla. Jessica Barrales. Suli Rodriguez. Aneta Piesiak. Cynthia Barinotto. Cindy Vieira. Francisco Rodriguez Jr. Christina Ingui. Rachel Meneses. Kelly Dominguez. Priscila Nieves. Stephanie Zambrano. Luis Montenero. Jonathan Taborda. Andrew Kenlin. Michelle Rishi. Jamie Polino. Aruba Basharat. Rina Navarro. Caitlin Garcia. Marcy A. Lubitz. Sammy Kara. Laura Viss. Tracy Reinstra. Joseph Raven Taylor. Wendy Alexandra Gonzalez. Elisa Romero. Vanessa Rivera. Cassandra Tribastone. Vanessa Monteleone. Nicole E. Dion. Alexandra Serrano. Cristiano Constante. Jennifer Rivera. Alexis Piombino. Darren Ilexco. Victor Mira. Cassandra Vélez. David Alpaca. Jeffrey Lafer. Jennifer Balsano. Colleen Baclita. Celeste Marino. Lisa Lanzalato. Christian Rodriguez. Winfred K. Kisilu. Dave O. Oladoja. Gustavo Marcelino Gonzalez. Juan Y. Vergara. Verdiana Rossi. Cristina Zanides. Amanda Deletto. Modesta Vélez. Tashawn Thompson. Liane Sabrit. Christian A. Onteco. Mary Rose Curcio. Monica Chalmers. Shane Goodrich. Tracy DiLuzio. Melissa Loverdi. Mary Nessim Rivera. Vaisa McCann. Anthony J. Farinola. Viviana E. Perdomo. Gladys Argueta. Adriana Noto. Francesca Rita. Pawel Kusiak. Jonathan Rodas. Michael Dispenza. Daryl Soto. Tammy Verdugo Gill. 
Catrice L. Flores. Brian Campisi. Magdalena Jaros. Sean Sotelo. Peter Mazurek. Stephanie Cranjack. Kelly Cortez. Alexandra Foraglu. Catalina Fregoso. Nicolas Drywa. Anu S. Chandroth. Alma Guzman. Joyce Gonzalez. Stephanie Trusty. Kevisha Jones. Heather Vaughn. Ruth Sanchez. Nicole Jimenez. Rano Jimenez. Violet Mansiuk. Defia Steele. Elizabeth Luhan. Alejandra Arredondo. Adriana Mahmoud. Helen Vinicor. Roberto Vasquez. Lauren M. Figueroa. J.D. Patel. Devesh Rana. Mohamed Al Salti. Urbi Mameta. Barbara Abud. Michael L. Navarro. Lisa Kemp. Jorge Rivera Schreiber. Sarah Taraji. Ekrim Asalia. Noor Hamza. Noor Sharaf. Nesma Saber. Stephanie Sabi. Ranley Borro. John Wargo. Alba L. Agudelo. Johnny Taborda. Stacy Freeman Schreiber. Melanie Morales. Kajal Desai. Tanya Wen. Sang Yong Kim. Nayeli Pinton. Ariel Castillo. Isaac Meza. Jorge Quesada. Adams Roca. Kinga Kowalczyk. Priscilla Negroni. Kirvin Rick. Gabriel J. Ruiz. Veronica Grabstein. Xiomara Reyes. Brandon Capizioni. Alonso Batman Rodriguez. Eli Robbins. Lauren Rassam. Polo Carrera. Marusa Buchanan. Stavros Diamantidis. Yasmin Williams. Ryan Hother. Nancy E. Martinez. Mia Mendes. Mark Auslander. Jeffrey Morales. Andrew Diaz.
in my Alexander Netelkos, Dayton Pierce, Julian D. Ramirez Murcia, Erier Gaspar, Diana Bermudez, John B. Coyle, Francesca Pavoresa Lopez, Kristen Maria Peterson, Christina Rowe, Diana Seda, Ruth Denucci, Dominic J. Denucci, Adelina Nella, Gabriel R. Lee, Rebecca Lee Otaño, Hope Dukes Larkins, Jaime Urbina, Mauricio Sueros, Karim Gadea, Antonella Sialiki, Anthony Copeland, Jacqueline A. Hernandez, Veronica Hernandez, Jennifer Krupp, Jessica Sandino, Mary Laureta, Joanna Rumi Pilla, Jacqueline Laporta, Narti Tate, Raymond M. Simone Jr., Christoph Sargan. Max Zitamer, Diana Perez, Oscar Sandoval, Pamela Santana, Spencer Bertumiux, Tadesha J. Bradley, Edwin Telu. David Cruz, Lauren Koslowski, Kenneth M. Burry, Mohamed Saber, Jacqueline M. Ortiz, Natalie Viray Songa, Laura M. De Peña. Kenverlyn J. Molina. Monica Bursovska. Daniel Goldrick. Carmen J. Caposela. Daniel Cuco. Kristen Palakat. Oksana Piskin, Stephanie Terrero, Janice Marie Diaz, Avery Wilson, Leah Rivera, Nicole Klimek, Dennis Enriquez, Catherine Espinosa, Jeanette Mendoza, Jackie Gandhi, Adam Lee, Chiren Anit, Alona Nazarenko, Olesia Mikulia. Melissa Cañas, Caitlin Preslomik, Crystal Weinstock, Ruben Krebs, 
Nichimei Taveras. Joe Taveras. Sonia Jimenez. Clara I. Goldenberg. Cheryl Wong. Gabby Marani. Tao Shen Chang. Aro Medina. Delia King. Angela Marcia Mosca. Deja Sanabria. Trevor Kendall. Angelo Arciniegas. Younes Bahesh. Jahaira Janaira Rodriguez. Rebeca Blasso. Odell Ventura Jr. Mario Ludina. Congasio. Alexandra McAllister. Ariel Galina. Brianna Thompson. Sean Michael Thompson. Cindy Aquino. Shamika Shaw. Monica Del Valle. Alberto Torres. Alexander Medina. Priscila Córdoba. Long Dan. Debbie Ann Swaby. Dawa Sherpa. Amadankwa. Bernard Danso. Aaron Paul Ibarola. Young Mi Lee. Min Jae Yang. Miriam Garces Rincón. Robin Adam Reyes. Jennifer B. Bastos. Paul Saunders. Ronald Grillo. Vanessa Acosta. Ryan Davis. Brandon Buduran. Katia Murillo. Hazel Rincones. David Ann L. Rampensad. Richard Carr. Christopher Rondon. Jerry Castro. Marcela Pareja. Brian Bourdier. Isis Burr. Ernesto Rubén Alicea. Rosalinda García. Héctor García. Peter Lair. Violeta Vidalba. Javier Salinas. Robert Rosa. Jody Rampersad. Joseph Rossello. Darío Ortiz.
I was going to say, graduates, please rise, but you, you're already ready, aren't you? <laughs> Chairman Karsten, will you join me on the platform, please? I present to you the class of 2013. They are eligible recipients of the associate's degrees and certificates. Are you ready? <laughs> Members of the class of 2013, by virtue of the authority of the Bergen Community College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the associate degree or certificate with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining here to. You're graduated! Now, before you sit down, I'd like to call to the podium my friend and our new alumni trustee and your SGA president, Margarita Valdez. Class of 2013, we made it! It has been, for me, a pleasure to serve as president of the Student Government Association. My, my personal journey as a student who didn't know how to speak English, I have learned how to persevere and follow my career goals. I have stayed stronger. My education in Bergen Community College and the SGA have told me that I have to follow what I believe. So I want to congratulate everyone in here because you deserve that. You earned it. Congratulations. <laughs> the graduates might now observe the traditional ceremony, moving the tassel from the right to the left. Please be seated. We're almost done. In a few moments, the ceremony will end. But before that time, I think we need to give Professor Maria Griffo a round of applause again for singing our national anthem for us. Graduates, as I reminded you before, you are now part of the legacy of Bergen Community College, and we hope that you will continue your relationship with us by joining the alumni network. I would ask that the audience please remain seated as the graduates, the faculty, the staff, and the platform guests proceed. And we thank you all for sharing this very important moment with the graduates and with us today. It is truly an honor to recognize you graduates as members of the Bergen Alumni Now. Congratulations.
Thank you.